Okay, we've got another case sent in, and uh, here's the comments with the case. I need some help planning this case. The issue I'm having is the uneven ridge. In my current plan, I have about two millimeters of exposed threads on the buckle, which I plan to graft. Would this be how you would go about this? Also, can you please check my length selection? I'm using a Noble Active 4.3 by 10, and I'm very close to the lingual plate. Will I be okay, or should I go with a shorter implant? Thanks, and I appreciate the feedback. So um, <clears throat> so we have a case here for an edentulous site, tooth number 19. And so I went ahead and planned. Uh, th there's the plan. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the plan, which is typically what I will do so that we can compare my plan versus the original plan. I haven't spent much time looking at this, so we're going to do this on the fly. Uh, in cases like this, the first thing I like to do is when I have a full archaceric data, by the way, which is great. So this is going to be an OptiGuide case. If we take a look here, we've got plenty of natural teeth. We can't use tooth number 18, 30, or 31 for our integration, um, but we have all the other data that we need. So in these cases, I like to go ahead and clip along the active slice of the axial here on the axial view, um, like so. And then I like to um, go ahead and click lock, lock the clipping region so it's always on the axial no matter what window I click. So now <clears throat> what I look from here is the first thing I'm going to evaluate is my CEREC design. So in looking at this here, we can see that our design looks pretty good. A buckle contour follows very well. A lingual contour follows pretty well. You know, if I were being hypercritical I could say that a lingual contour is a little bit thick on this tooth but again that doesn't make that big of a difference here however <clears throat> excuse me I apologize um, one thing that I did notice on this one is and it's a pet peeve of mine is is a lingual margin drawing drawings on uh, the lingual and the buckle so what I'm going to do here is in green that represents the existing margins gingival margins so I don't think our tooth margin would go down like that. Instead, I think our tooth margin, and I'll draw that in yellow, should probably be more right there. So when I draw these uh, margins in the CEREC software, I want them to be pretty accurate with what we expect because it can, uh, you know, kind of trick us or fool us or make us do some other things. And the lingual wasn't, again, wasn't too bad. However, on the buckle, and I'll do this in yellow, we can see here the tissue margin, well the tissue margin is probably like that, and then this drops way down and then there. So I, I think it would be clear to say, <clears throat> excuse me again, that our buckle margin on this should probably be more like that. Okay. So next time that we draw these CEREC margins and design our virtual tooth, keep our emergence profile or emergence tissue height in consideration and um, <clears throat> this will become a little more apparent when we go to the implant align view here and we can see um, here in the cross-sectional view the implant plan is quite close to the drawn margin which is incorrect so if I had the margin correct where I should be which is probably about right here we can see so if I had the margin drawn where it should be, which is probably about right here, okay, we can see our implant head is quite close to that margin, and our emergence would be quite difficult there, or getting our emergence would be difficult. So that's why that becomes so important to have that correct there. So now let's go ahead and focus on the implant plan. The basic things, mesia distally looks great, buccalingually looks pretty good there. Uh, the occlusal table looks very nice coming right through the center tooth. Our occlusal plane looks quite nice. I mean, we've done everything pretty well here. My only concern uh, or change that I would make is probably more along in this cross-sectional view. Um, I think we're too far to the buckle. Um, I also think um, <clears throat> that I would like to go with the 5.0 implant here. Uh, especially if we can go with the 10 millimeter implant. If we're going to have to graft these few buckle threads anyway, it doesn't really matter whether we do a 4.3 or 5.0. And the other thing I would do is I would go ahead and tilt this back a little bit. One, we're a little bit buckle to our central groove, so I would go ahead and tilt that back. And that would do a couple of things for me. One is that it would give me a little more distance to the buckle here. And then uh, two, it would get me in the center of the tooth. And then I would probably even cheat a little bit more like so from the apex there and then possibly even 
along the lines of something like this. Now, <clears throat> the next question will be the vertical height. Um, one option is to put the implant up here, but personally I prefer this height a little bit better. And then when I place the implant, I will graft, and then when I uncover, I may do some uh, minor contouring to the bone on the lingual there. So other than this, this is pretty much all I would change in this particular plan. Uh, going longer is certainly uh, not really a good option there, so I would stick to a 5x10. I would do a little bit of grafting here on the buckle. Uh, I think that uh, can be done quite predictably. Um, make your crestal incision well to the lingual here. And then flap forward, try to release and regain primary, uh, primary closure there. One other thing I'd like to point out here is the use of an alternative implant in a case like this. We can always look possibly at using the Astra Profile implant. And if you notice, it has a sloping head on it, which would allow us to avoid any type of grafting in this particular case. Uh, this is a little bit more difficult implant to use. You have to get the timing and the orientation correct. Uh, but I always believe in understanding and having a few more options available to you. So other than the CEREC drawing and maybe some slight positional changes on the implant, I think everything looks pretty nice there. Thank you for sending the case in.